in northwest Scotland. A little closer to home, a quick look at the weather first on BBC One with David Brain. Hello again and welcome to our final look at the weather. There's some rain on the way. Already that rain is marching across Ireland right now. It's on our way across the rest of the British Isles for the rest of the night and through tomorrow. It's this weather front that's poised out to the west. The big picture showing that line of cloud quite clearly. And it will move in across most of Northern Ireland, perhaps the northwest of England, western Wales and down towards Cornwall as we move through the night. And I can show you that as we run this sequence of the model forecast of the rain as it sweeps across the central and southern parts of Britain as we move through tomorrow. It will be replaced by a few showers, but still quite a lot of cloud around. And even by late tomorrow, that cloud thick enough to generate a few showers. Now, before that weather front arrives, I think with the clearer skies in some of these more central and eastern areas, it could be quite chilly. Three degrees in parts of Scotland, in the glens, that's cold enough for a touch of frost. And then through tomorrow, well, there's the position of that area of low pressure and the associated weather fronts. This is going to be a, quite a wet story for most of the morning, but beginning to dry up through the afternoon. The worst of the rain, I think, through the morning across North Wales, the Midlands, and down into the southeastern part of England, slowly pushing its way eastwards, and it will eventually turn brighter from the north. Meanwhile, up in the far north, a scattering of showers affecting parts of Scotland, with the best temperatures in the south, probably 17 or 18. Bye for now. <laughs> If you break another country's laws, you answer for those crimes abroad. You'll be treated as a criminal, not a tourist. The British Consul will help you. And if you're jailed, we'll ensure that you're treated fairly. Okay. We can help you find an English-speaking lawyer. We can contact your family. We can pass on money from home. We can visit you in prison, but we can't get you out. So stay legal, or you could find yourself having the holiday of a lifetime. Agent Mulder died late last night. I don't believe that. saying this has all been orchestrated. A hoax. And he's right back to the FBI. The new series. If they lie to us, we can lie to them. A lie to find the truth. Saturday, 9.25, BBC One, The X-Files. Three months ago, France stood on top of the footballing world. Tomorrow night, a small part of England will try to topple their crown. Blackburn's three musketeers, Davis, Sutton and Gallagher, shoot into action in the UEFA Cup. And Kevin Gallagher! Join Des and the team for Blackburn Rovers versus Olympique Lyonnais. Live European football tomorrow night at 8 on BBC One and BBC Radio 5 Live. This is BBC One, now Ray Stubbs with the latest action from the Commonwealth Games. Good morning. Today's programme events is about to get underway in Kuala Lumpur. 
Over the next few hours, we've got swimming, boxing, bowls, netball, cycling, all variety of sports. But as our first stop is the pool, and of the six scheduled events for today, one in particular over the years has seen great success for British swimmers. It's the men's 200 metres breaststroke. 